Welcome to our KAA How-To Guides for Social Media and the Internet. I'm Nikki Wiss, Family Connections Manager at KAA, and I'll be talking you through the different guides to help support our young people to navigate safely through the world of social media and the internet. While social media and the internet offer our young people great opportunities to learn, chat to their friends and to be creative, sadly there are negative aspects to it that can be harmful to our young people. Real life examples of incidents investigated by the police include a 14 year old contacted via Snapchat and threatened with violence. The offender said they knew where they lived and went to school as their location settings were open. They said they would find them if they didn't send images. An 11 year old contacted via Instagram and asked to send naked photos of themselves. A 15 year old who believed they were in a relationship with a 19 year old over Instagram. The 19 year old was in fact an older person who had convinced the child that they are in love. These examples are just some of the examples dealt with by the police up and down the country. And this is why it's so important that we as adults try to keep informed around the ever expanding world of social media and the internet. There are things we can consider to keep our young people safe and to reduce the risk of harm. Location settings is one of these things. Ensure that location settings are turned off when using social media apps that way other users won't be able to see where you are. Privacy settings. Ensure your young person settings are private. Age restrictions. Be mindful of the age limits that have been set for each app. They've been set at that age limit for a reason due to the content of the app. Dangers. Be aware of the dangers that can occur online and on the apps. Dangers online include such things as cyberbullying, which is basically bullying online and can include things like sending nasty comments and harassment. Sexting, so sending sexually inappropriate messages or pictures. Exposure to inappropriate content, that could be anything from real or simulated violence, pornography or extremism. Grooming, befriending a young person with a view to exploit or cause them harm. And sharing private information, this is information that identifies a person, so the phone number, their address, their financial details and sharing of this information could then lead and make a person susceptible to identity theft, fraud or online hackers. So with the online dangers in mind, there are tips to minimise the risks that we can share with our young people. In terms of personal information, advise them not to publish personal information like their location, email address, phone number or date of birth. Advise them to think carefully about what images and messages they post, even amongst trusted friends, as once these images and messages are online, they can be shared widely and are extremely difficult to remove. Encourage them to talk to you about their activities online and report to you if they come across anything they find offensive or upsetting and keep a record of anything abusive or offensive they've received and report any trouble to the site manager. Most sites now have a simple reporting procedure, normally activated by clicking on a link on the page. If your child makes an online friend and wants to meet up with them in real life, you should go along with them to check the person is who they say they are. Advise young people to be aware of online scams. Offers which seem too good to be true usually are and encourage them not to get into any online discussions about sex, as these tend to attract potentially dangerous users. If you do suspect someone may be grooming your child on a social networking site, or your child is being stalked or harassed, you should contact the police or Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre, and their website link is there below.